Welcome to July's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is reverse words in a string. Given an input string, reverse the string word by word. We're given a string like the sky is blue and we want to return the string reversed word by word so it become blue is sky the. If there are multiple spaces, we want to replace that with a th single string instead. So this problem I was asked before in a phone screen, so it could be good to know. It's pretty simple. The way you could split a string into a list in Python is to use the string split method. And all that is is a built-in method that will take the string and create a list for it word by word. And it defaults to splitting it by the white space. You could change that if you want, like a comma or something like that. But that's already built in. So this is going to give us a list of every word word by word. Now we want to reverse this list, right? So we can just use the reverse method here. And finally, that's going to be a list reversed word by word. And we want to concatenate that back into a string using the string join method. One thing to note, we want to add a space here because that's going to be the um, character that's going to be joining all these strings together. So we want that to be a space. Finally, we can just return that and go ahead and submit it. And there we go. So this is a very simple problem. They might ask you something like, well, this split method, it's built in. How would you write that? And unfortunately, this is like written in C. It's not a Python co code. The source code is written in C. So I'm not totally sure, but it might be something like we might go through the string, indicate where we start at an index. If we see a white space, we will take that part of the string and append it to a list and then um, move that pointer to the, to the next point that we see another character and then move on forward until we see another white space at, at whatever is um, that substring into the list and so on and so forth. Might be something like that. I'm not completely sure, uh, but it's very unlikely they would ask you that. Um, it's just the split method is very useful when it comes to like mutating strings and stuff. So that should be it. So thank you. Um, and remember, do not trust me because I know nothing.